WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of uh, mostly cloudy Delray Beach, Florida, although I do see the sun is trying to peek its head out. But this is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we've got all the U.S. indices trading to the uh, downside. The Dow's off 338, S&P 62, NASDAQ 354, Russell's off 22, semis are down 81. Normally, we go take a look at our cash indice charts, but I'm having uh, problems with uh, getting live data feed, so I'll have to deal with that over the uh, during the during when the show is over. So let's go do this. Let's just take a look at the four equity future contracts out here and uh, take a look at uh, their signals so let's change screens out here we'll go take a look at the daily first and then we'll save a little time and go look at the intraday time frame so on a daily basis the key levels to be watching whoops that didn't take so, oh now you're at the 30 minute chart sorry i did want to start there i wanted to start with the daily uh, because that's the bigger picture out here and so now we've got the daily upper left hand side you've got the es mini the level to be watching there today at the close, 42.9375. Why? Because that was a Gartley buy pattern and a close below the low of support. That's the Three River Morning Star suggests lower price. Lower price to where? 41.9650. That's the next TD9 count breakout level inside the ES Mini. The NQ, if it closes below the low from Friday, Friday was a, a bull sash candle. Price will have taken out its Gartley buy pattern that lasted for uh, not very long out there, and that would suggest to move back to 13,945. The Dow Equity Future contract and the Russell, they're both stronger than the other two at this stage here. Uh, the price level that the YM needs to close below to negate its Gartley buy pattern is 33,478, and the Russell 2000 is 2146. So we've got you know, different messages out here. Now, let's go switch to the, uh, that always leads to confusion, including confusing Stevie. So um, you get to share in my misery. So I think that, is this it? I don't want to screw it up, but I might. Perfect. So now we're at the 30 minute time frame chart. So we're looking for any potential bottom signals here. The NQ is the weakest. That's down two and a half percent of the NASDAQ 100 is down two and a half percent. So let's just simply focus on the NQ. And on the NQ, if there's going to be a rally. It'll be because of wave number seven. That's been confirmed. That's letter G. A TD nine count bottom has been confirmed. What we now have is a bullish structured profile. That suggests any close above 14,416, you'll see the NQ go target 14,454. Above that level, price will target 14,488. And above that level, folks, all the way back to 14,720. So the only bottoming signal I have out here is the NQ. That's where you'd like to see a bottoming signal because that is the weak end to see. The question is, can it overcome those resistance levels? Have a great day, folks. Stay tuned. David White's up next. Take care.